What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Liz and I'm so happy that you're here because today I'm going to be reviewing another activewear brand started by an influencer. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel right there and go ahead and follow me on my other social media platforms. I'll have them listed down in the description box. All right, we are talking about Alphalete today and they are a pretty big Instagram brand. Um, they were started by Christian Guzman who is huge on YouTube and Instagram. He is also dating fellow influencer Heidi who started Buff Bunny, which is one of the other influencer brands I've already reviewed here. I'll have those down in the description box for you if you would like to check those out. I don't know, something about the influencer started brands really interests me and just seeing how they compare to other brands that weren't started by people with a platform already. Christian Guzman has a lot of brands. He has like ghost supplements, he has 3D energy drinks, he has Alpha Elite, and he also has a gym that he started and now he's kind of made it all into like one big alpha land. So he honestly just has like a huge empire and I have never bought from Alpha Elite before so this is my first time purchasing from them. I've heard mixed reviews, there's some good, there's some bad, so I am excited to try it out. They just launched these really cool camo prints and I fell in love with the silver camo. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to try it. And they're also doing the like V wrap waistbands, which are really trendy right now. So I wanted to try those out. Everyone that they had reviewing them in their kind of like promo videos said that they're amazing and super flattering, but everyone reviewing them was like a size extra small or small. So we will see how it looks on someone who is a little bit bigger. I will have my sizes listed in the description box for you so you can compare how these things look on me to how they would look on you and to see if it's even worth your money, honestly. Something else I saw on their website that I really appreciated is that they've extended the time that you're able to make returns right now um, from 30 days to 45 days. So I, I think that's good that companies are kind of taking everything into consideration right now. Um, I didn't pick up that much stuff from this launch just because it was like a mini launch they had. They didn't have a whole bunch of things release. Um, so yeah, I just got this set and a t-shirt that we'll talk about, but this is their Surface set. And these are their Surface Power shorts. They also had these release in leggings. And as you can see, there is that wrap waistband detail. There's no top seam on the waistband um, and there's no front seam either. They've got their Elf Elite branding there written in silver, which I think looks really cool on the silver camo. The material is like a very soft, brushed material, but still feels pretty thick. So almost like a colorful koala material, um, which if you've seen any of my other Amazon legging reviews, I'm obsessed with colorful koala, uh, but these were much more extensive. These are $46 for shorts. That is, that's really expensive um, compared to other shorts. But I think when you buy from Alphalete, you are buying to have like the name brand. I guess we'll see if the quality is worth it, but that's that's really a high price for shorts. I got these in a size medium, which is kind of where I fell on their size chart. I was between a medium and large, like I am in most activewear brands, but for shorts, I do find that I'm usually a medium, just because, you know, you don't have to worry about your thigh or calf squeezing into it like you would for a legging. Shorts just kind of has to fit around your butt, so. And then this is their Surface Infinity Bra, which is that same super soft, thick material. And I really like the seams that they have going on here. They look like flattering seams. Um, the straps in the back are adjustable, but they are super thin, stretchy straps. So we'll see. I'm not anticipating this being a super high support sports bra, but I did think it's really cute. And honestly, I don't even do that much cardio, so I don't need like, a really high impact sports bra. And this is $42, which is pretty high for a sports bra. I have done a video before reviewing Amazon sports bras and they were all really affordable and there were some really nice ones in that video. I'll have it linked somewhere right here. Um, so you do not need to spend that much money to get a good quality sports bra. But again, I think you're getting it just for the Alpha Elite name brand. They have the same branding there on the back silver alpha elite on the silver 
pattern, which I really like. I, I love this silver camo. I, I just love camo in general. I think it helps hide sweat. I think it helps hide cellulite. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about camo patterns. I feel like they're really popular right now, but I do know some people just don't like them. Uh, this does have removable padding and the pads are, you know, just thin pads. They're pretty big though. I got this in a size medium as well. Um, I think in sports bras I'm also between a medium and a large, but I do like them, especially if they have thin straps to kind of fit a little bit more snug to give me some more support. And it does have a thick band around the bottom to also kind of help hold you in, I guess. So yeah, we'll see how this looks. All right, I love the way this looks. I can't say it enough how much I love this white camo, but it just, it's not designed for me. Um, let's talk about why. So the sports bra, super cute. Love the scoop in the front. I think it's really flattering and I like how much coverage it's giving me. Um, definitely think this is the right size, but there's like no support in this at all none and the straps are so thin and stretchy they're already digging into me i've had this on for like two minutes now and it's already super uncomfortable you can see in the back it's like pulling on these so uh, i don't know i guess if you don't have a large chest or need a lot of support this would be a really cute sports bra but for me it's just it's not functional it's because this material is just so stretchy especially for the price i can't justify keeping this just to look cute it's not comfortable i would not be able to do anything in it um the shorts the same problem honestly just not functional super cute if i were just to stand here and take a picture but it starts to ride up here in the front and i'm getting a little bit of like a camel situation which is not something i usually have with leggings or shorts so that's uncomfortable and then this waistband i think it's because it doesn't have that top seam it does not hold its shape very well like i start to move around or like bend over to get something and it's rolled down to like the most unflattering point on me and it's just like there you can't see the v anymore it's just all bunched up around yeah like <laughs> not a good point doesn't make me look really good there's no compression in this fabric it's just so stretchy it is really flattering on the booty i will say that but other than that i i couldn't wear these shorts and feel comfortable in them just they don't stay put very well it's just not not the best design i love what they were going for you know we all have different bodies it's gonna look different on everybody but if you have a similar body type to me I would not say this is worth your money at all. And this material also feels like the type of material that would start to pill. It's like a very, very subtle brushed on the top of it. And it honestly looks like it has a little bit of pilling starting already. And I haven't even like worn this set for anything. So that is a little bit concerning. I will check to see if this is squat proof. You know, it is a thicker material, but it's white. So we'll see. Right now I have um, like a nude thong because that's normally what I would wear. But I'll also try it with some like pink full coverage underwear because I know people are interested in if this is squat proof. Lastly, I picked up their signature crop in this really pretty golden hour color. This color, I feel like so many brands are doing it for fall. I love it. And I don't know if yellow really <laughs> looks good on me, but I love this mustardy yellow color. This is $28 and it's honestly just a super basic crop top. I got this in a size extra large because that is where I fell on their size chart for their t-shirts. It's an extra large. I usually get larges for like t-shirts and sweatshirt tops. Everything looks pretty basic about it comparing to other crop tops. It's just like a regular stretchy t-shirt material and it does not have a raw edge. Okay, so when I was just holding this up, I was expecting it to look super oversized on me just because it looked really big, but I think it hangs really nicely and it comes down to a nice cropped point. Like it's a little bit past my belly button. So if my leggings came up to my belly button, it would cover everything. These are just not the best shorts to be wearing it with. But that's actually really cute. It's not tight at all. So honestly, I think a size large would give me that like 
fitted look that everyone on their website has, but their size chart said extra large, so I, I went with the extra large. Let's give you a better look. Yeah, it's just a stretchy t-shirt material. You can see it is like a looser fit there, but overall I like it, but you can definitely size down in this if you'd like it to give you like a fitted look. Not much else to say about the top, but it's time to squat test. Alright, so Alphalete. Uh, honestly, I, I would not purchase from them again. I think it is way too expensive for not the best quality stuff. You can get much nicer things for cheaper other places. And yeah, I just don't think it's worth it. I am interested in their return policy because I'm gonna go ahead and return this stuff. But I have heard some horror stories of people going and returning things and then their return getting denied because they're claiming that it wasn't sent back in the same condition that it was received. But people literally send it back like, right after trying it on. So I've heard their customer service could use some work. We'll see, I guess if anything bad happens, I'll let you know in a future video. If there are any other brands you would like to see me try, influencer brands, regular brands, let me know down in the comments. Or what your experience has been with Alphalete, I would love to hear from you. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll have some of my other videos here on the screen for you if you would like to keep watching. And I'll see you later.